as the next chapter we are going to learn about sun clock software to open up the sun clock software click on application then education sun clock so here as the first part we are going to study about f button so f button load earth map file so click on the f button so there you can see dot vmf click on dot vmf then there you can see default dot png land water vmf and time zones dot png so here i am clicking on default dot png so default dot png is the map window what you are seeing here click on land water dot vmf so here we can see the map has changed and we can see the map in a blue and green color blue means those places is having water and green means those places is having land and white means those areas which is having snow or glaciers or all those things then click on the time zone dot png then you will get the time zone map here so here you can see india is here and we are getting almost to night so here by clicking on the f button we are getting three types of maps then as the next part we are going to learn about w button first we have to click on the w button open new map window then another map has been opened up so click on the maximize button to maximize the window so here we can see at the bottom we are having legal time legal time and gmt gmt means green which mean time so click on the s button so that is solar time mode so now we are going to find out the solar time of a place so here we can see so many yellow spots are here so if you click on any of the yellow spots we will get the solar time of that particular place so we'll click on here in india so here you can see bombay then solar time is 1542 then day length day length is 11 hours 20 minutes so day length means the time the difference between the sunrise and sunset is defined as day length that is how much time we are having the light from the sun so for bombay the day length is 11 hours 20 minutes then solar time is 1542 you have to click on this yellow spot with a circle so it changed to red then this place is beijing the solar time is 1836 then the day length is 10 hours 19 minutes so as the sun moves from right to left the length of the day will also change then is the next part we are going to click on d button then i am clicking on the first place here bombay then i am clicking on the next place here calcutta so here you can see bombay's latitude and longitude then calcutta's latitude and longitude or the distance between bombay to calcutta is 1664 km that is 1034 miles so like that we can find out the distance between any two places so next we are going to click on e button so click on the e button you will get the hour extension so here we can see our standard time is plus 5 hours and 30 minutes from the equator equator here we can see zero then next comes legal time click on the l button to get the legal time so here at the bottom we can see the legal time and green which mean time then next we are going to click on the z button z button is used to zoom the particular portion of a map so click on the z button then we will get an another window opened up of the map so here we can see a vertical and a horizontal bar here so a blue portion is also there so click on that blue portion drag then as you drag you can see you are having a line there so you have to drag the horizontal bar and the vertical bar and you can make a box like thing we can drag that box to a particular place so here i got a box here so i am going to drag this box to the 
continent Asia and I am placing here at India. So as the next part I have to zoom that particular portion. So now I have to click on the synchro button minus to plus. So as the synchro button changes from minus to plus you can see the portion what I have selected has been zoomed. Again click back on synchro button plus to minus drag this bar back then you have to click on the synchro button again and automatically we will get back our window.